Hey guys, Duke here. Sorry for the late start. Uh, I wanted to start at 7, like I planned on doing every Tuesday and Thursday. But it turned out I have more to do today than, than I thought I did, so. Uh, but late's better than never, like I sometimes am prone to say. Uh, so let me just type my, uh, my secret passphrase into the chat room here. The rooster crows at midnight. Now you might be wondering why I typed the rooster crows at midnight into the chat room. Well, the reason is, remember a few, well, I guess two streams ago when I said I suggested the idea of somehow converting an IRC chat log to uh, to subtitles? Well, Exergia, who is currently in the chat room as I speak, possibly listening listening to this if his uh, if his stream refreshed, has created a script that allows me to do exactly that. Uh, if you go and look at my WizWord video on YouTube, you will see that I can now take the chat from any of my streams and convert it to a format that uh, that can be used to put basically put the whole chat as subtitles on YouTube. Uh, it's awesome, you know. Exergia, thanks so much for doing that. Uh, really cool of you. Um, and uh, yeah, so from now on, if all goes according to plan, all of my streams should hopefully have this feature. If you don't like the subtitles, uh, well, first of all, what I would su suggest doing is hitting the B button on the video, so uh, the subtitles have like a back background, black background, like closed captioning on TV. That makes it a lot more readable. Um, but if you don't like the subtitles, you can also turn those off and turn on the interactive transcript, which you can turn on by clicking the little icon. It looks like a uh, just like a list, I guess. It's next to the flag icon on the video, and that basically shows you the whole chat room underneath the video, and you can follow along with what the chat room's saying while the video is going on. So. Uh, so even if you can't make it to the stream live, you know, you can still feel like, you know, you participated, but didn't say anything, and nobody said anything to you. Uh, welcome to everyone in the chat room. We have Sore Thumb, Exergia, Garth Gartholomew68, Gronod, those are two people I haven't seen before. Welcome. Just Drop, Oxbow, Serious Kaku Demon. welcome to all of you. I saw Sword Thumb was playing Realm of the Mad God a few minutes ago. I wasn't sure if he was going to uh, to see the stream announcement or not, but uh, glad you can make it. So uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't planning on playing this actually. I was going to do some more Wizard, but uh, I actually have a few things to talk about today, which is unusual. So I wanted to play something I I didn't really have to think about that much. Not that you really have to think about Wizorb, it's just I haven't played it before, so, you know, I don't want to miss anything because I'm too busy talking. Trying out the new Walking Dead game. I heard that was supposed to be good. Got the email, so woot. Not sure what email you're referring to. Uh, welcome Monothu to the chat room. Uh, so yeah. Uh, a few events have happened today, um, well, today and yesterday. Uh, my landlord, I, I've discovered, is basically Dale Gribble from King of the Hill, the crazy conspiracy theorist guy. Um, the other day I got, home, I got home from work and I noticed that there was an envelope taped to my front door. Well, what could this be, I thought. You know, it can't be anything good things taped to your front door almost never are. I figured it was from my landlord before I even, you know, saw what it was because, you know, who else would put an envelope on my front door with my name on it? Um, so I brought it in and there was a note from him with some, uh, some fairly, I want to say disturbing information, but I don't know if the information itself is disturbing or the fact that he brought it to my attention is disturbing. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just read the letter that, that he gave me. Uh, I mean, the same, there was a letter on my downstairs neighbor's door, too, so 
I figured it wasn't anything too bad, like me being kicked out of the apartment for some reason or anything. Uh, and I mean, really, it's not that bad. It's just, it's, it's just weird. I mean, my landlord's apparently kind of a crazy dude. Uh, so after I beat this boss, I will, uh, I will read that letter for, for the stream. It, it's short, and it'll give me something to talk about. Um, also, wow, I am not doing too well against Larry Jr. Um, also, I had a fairly disturbing dream the other night, which might be interesting to talk about. And I have some, uh, constructive criticism from a, uh, from a viewer that I thought I might share and, uh, respond to. Um, it's a criticism that I receive somewhat regularly, and I'd like the chance to address it in front of a group of my peers. Um, uh, welcome to the chat room. Cody Farf. Oh, I guess he left. Sorry, sorry, it wasn't up to your standards. Okay, here's the letter, which I'll just go over real quickly. Uh, the letter is dated April 22nd, 2012. Notice all tenants at my address. Last year, the city of Charleston decided that they would find a new way to infiltrate our lives. You know, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. In quotes. So now, they want to inspect everyone's house or apartment to make sure they have quote-unquote proper living conditions. The bad news and problem with this is that they have not given any of us landlords any documentation as to what their criteria may be. Myself, along with some other landlords, have requested this info, but we have not received it. The good news is that you do not have to let them in your units. Thank God this is still America, and no one can enter your house without a warrant. I would recommend refusing them entry because if they find something out of order, I may have to close the building down to fix the problem, and you could be looking for new housing. If you are content here, and I believe you all are, please do not let anyone into the building to inspect and nose around. I believe this is like a witch hunt. I heard stories of them looking in medicine cabinets, under beds, in closets, and other unnecessary areas of the house. Do they want to know what drugs you take, or are they looking for something illegal? I believe this is an unnecessary intervention into our lives, and if we let them do this, what next? Of course, I hate the government with a passion anyway. I have enclosed a note for you to tape on your door. If you would be so kind, please sign it and tape it up. I received a notice in the mail stating that they will be here at 9 a.m. on April 25th, tomorrow, to perform an inspection. Thanks to all of you for your cooperation in this matter. Matter. And then the sign that he wants me to tape up says, Attention City Inspector. We, the undersigned tenants, decline to participate in the City of Charleston home inspections. Please do not disturb us. So, yeah. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Beaker Games. I don't know what I should be disturbed by. Um, on the one hand, if they really are doing these inspections, they did not give me any kind of notification about this. Um, and there's no... Uh, there's no advance notice of that or anything, since these are going on tomorrow, and I still haven't heard anything official about it. And I'm really not... I mean, for non-crazy reasons, I'm not really too thrilled about the idea of strangers being in my house without me being aware of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, on the one hand, my landlord could just be, like, trying to be a good guy and bringing this to my attention, or our attention, all of his tenants. Uh, but on the other hand, the fact that he's so against it makes me think, well, what's what's he trying to hide from the inspectors, exactly? I mean, I'm happy with the apartment. I mean, I don't have any problems with it. I mean, it's old, and there are some uneven floors, and it's just, I mean, it's not great, but it's certainly livable. There are no big issues with it, but... Um, I mean, what if there's, like, some issue with the foundation or something and that I'm not aware of, and in actuality, my apartment building is days away from collapsing in an unsightly heap. And, you know, that's the sort of thing that I should probably get inspected. But, uh, on the other hand, you know, <clears throat> well, on the first hand, again, I really don't know if that's, this is the kind of thing I'm okay with. I mean, if they, like, if they had sent me some sort of notification, the city, and said, we want to do an inspection at such and such time, is this time okay with you, will you be home, if not, what time is good with you, and I could call them and set something, something like that up, 
I'd be a lot more comfortable with that. But as it is, I don't know. I'm debating if I should actually put the sign up or not. Uh, welcome to the chat room. Holy crap. Uh, Galen Rayleigh. Uh, in... In... Uh, N-H-O-U-Z-X-M. Welcome. Welcome Sid5594 and welcome Tie-Dye Tundra. Why don't you just call up the city of Charleston City Hall and find out? Well, I would, but uh, lately I've been getting out of work at 5, which is pretty much after everything closes down. And I didn't find any, or I didn't really have a chance, since this is apparently going on tomorrow. Welcome to the chat, Chrono1. Meth lab, asbestos in the walls, lead paint chips in your cereal, or it was built on an Indian burial ground. These are all frightening possibilities. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the main thing I'm worried about is that my landlord has something to worry about, which, you know, is something I should worry about. Plus, the aliens are block blocking the phone transmissions. Well, I use a cell phone anyway, so my landline, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, welcome to the chat room, J. Hondo's box, or Jondo's box. No basement, so I don't have to worry about nuclear warheads there. But yeah, that's just uh, one somewhat interesting thing that I thought I would talk about. Um, I had a pretty d disturbing dream the other night. Um, I wouldn't really call it a nightmare, since it wasn't really scary at the time. But in retrospect, it's kind of scary. Um, I dreamt that I was on a bus, which I am prone to be on. Not so much now that I live close enough to work to walk, but the bus is still... Damn it, would you die already? The bus is still a fairly common part of my routine. But uh, we were going over a large bridge, one, you know, unlike any kind of bridge we actually have around here. Oh shit, teleported to the bus. And, uh, <clears throat> the bus was going over a bridge, and at exactly the wrong moment, somebody leapt in front of the bridge to, like, to kill himself. And the bus swerved out of the way, or tried to swerve out of the way so to avoid hitting him. But, uh, it ended up hitting him anyway. And the attempt to dodge him caused the bus to basically swerve and careen into the river underneath the bridge and uh, it wasn't anything like reality like in reality the bus would fill up slowly but in, the, in my dream it filled up pretty much instantaneously and I was submerged in water in the bus and I don't know how to swim <clears throat> but uh, in my dream well I, I don't know how to swim but I kinda know how to flail about in the water in a general manner that might have the potential to propel me in the direction I want to go. In my dream, I, uh, I used that technique to great effect and managed to get to the uh, emergency hatch on the bu bus and escape. And, uh, and I survived. I was the only one on the bus in the dream besides the driver, which is weird. I, I don't know what happened to the driver. But like, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I remember, um, and, I mean, it's pretty frightening in retrospect, and, I mean, just the idea of being trapped in a vehicle like that under the water, uh, I don't have, like, a specific phobia of that, but just in retrospect, it's kind of creepy. When did the stream start? Just started at 9 o'clock, um, and I'll probably end up going to about 11 or so. Yeah, again, apologies to everyone for the stream being late. Um, I had things I had to take care of that I didn't know I would have to. Uh, I tried to clear out my schedule so that my Tuesdays and Thursdays were free after 7, but, uh, but it, it didn't work out this time. Um, yeah, I wish there was a more satisfying conclusion to that dream. Basically, I swam out and... Swimmed? Is it swim swam or swimmed? Swimmed doesn't sound right. But swam doesn't either. Anyway, I uh, I survived, but it was just kind of creepy. Swimmered. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the right one. 
I'm just ready to hear this criticism from a fan. Okay, uh, <clears throat> if you guys want to hear, I will go on ahead and get into this. Um, let me uh, move this out of the recording window so it's not spoiled. Uh, this criticism comes from YouTube commenter Rebel Magistrate, who says, uh, this was a comment on the first episode of my Light Crusader uh, series, LP. He says, why does every idiot narrate the dialogue when they review games? Do you really think we're too retarded to read? Too retarded uses the wrong form of too. It should be T-O-O. And uh, this is a criticism that I get kind of often, usually not stated this prickishly. Um, a lot of people like aren't cool with the idea of narrating the dialogue in a game. And, uh, okay, uh, the Light Crusader one specifically, I can kind of understand, because that was still when I was kind of green at this whole LP thing, and I thought it would be a cute idea to do funny voices for some of the characters, which, you know, not, not my best idea ever. Which, I admit, you know, I should not have done cute voices. Um, but I, I don't see why so many people have problems with the person doing the LP narrating. I mean, okay, first of all, it's not a review, and it's a lot harder to take your criticism seriously when you can't get the basic facts about the thing you're complaining about correct. Uh, if it was a review, then yeah, it would be kind of unu <clears throat> unusual for me to read the dialogue, but it's an LP. And personally, I like it when an LP -er reads the dialogue, and the reason is Okay, when you're LPing a game and there's text on the screen, you basically have three options. Man, I wish I had 15 pennies. I'd like some of this shit. When there's text on the screen, you basically have three options. One, you can just ignore the dialogue completely and just skip past it. And, uh, you know, some games this is appropriate for, like, you know, a Super Mario World, I guess, with those little pop-up help tips tip things, you know, everybody knows what those say, so you can just skip right past them. But, like, in, uh... Okay, in Light Crusader, for example, the text boxes, the dialogue, actually conveys useful information, so if I did just ignore them and skip past them, you'd have to constantly pause the video to, uh, to read what, what's going on. The second option is, I can pause and just not say anything and try to give people you know, a long enough a long enough pause to give them a chance to read it. And, uh... Wow, pennies. Awesome! And uh, this is problematic because everybody reads at a different pace, and I would have to guesstimate, you know, how long to leave the, the text box up to give everybody a chance to read it. And, uh, you know, I might not leave it up long enough, or I might leave it up too long, to the point where it gets annoying. And, uh, and, you know, neither of those options are really desirable. And the third option is I can just read what, what's in the text box as the people watching the video read it themselves. And I, I honestly never saw a problem with that. I mean, that way you know, you know, it's on the screen for an appropriate length of time that everybody gets to read it. And, uh, And it's not, I mean, if you're not doing funny voices, it's not annoying. Um, but apparently a lot of people take issue with it. And the thing I don't understand is that it's basically just like, um, it's just like a video game with, uh, with both voiceovers and text on the screen at the same time. Like, uh, basically every, every RPG since, you know, Oblivion or Final Fantasy X or whatever example you want to use. I mean, is this guy writing into uh, to Bethesda? Because, what's the deal with doing voiceovers and text in Skyrim? You think I'm stu too stupid to read the text on the screen? You have to ask somebody to read it to me? And, uh, I don't really see the, uh, the disparity there. But, I don't know. Let's see what the peanut gallery says. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Sipter1, 
Uh, wow, a lot of people in the chat tonight. Saya Chan, welcome. If I don't welcome you, uh, things are still kind of funky with the uh, the Justin.tv chat rooms, but at least it's staying connected tonight. Just sometimes, uh, sometimes not everybody shows up in the user list. I voiced almost every single line during my Serpent Resurrection talk through because the text was quite small in the resolution I recorded. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, the text might not be easily readable in the video, or the person watching it, English might not be their first language, um, or there might be a kid watching it, which, you know, they shouldn't, because I use, I, I cuss a lot of swears, um, but I mean, if you're a kid and you do watch my videos, you're cool. So officially, you know, don't watch my videos if you're under 18, but, you know, off the record, you know, rock on, you're a pretty cool kid. I missed out on the deal with the devil. I only had two hearts. I am never, I am never going to make a deal with the devil when I'm this low on health. I have an LP. I have an LPR who reacts to what the characters say without saying it. Did you include something like that? Well, I mean, reacting to what they say. I don't know. But I mean, still, you, you don't want to talk while there's text on the screen if you're not reading the text on the screen because then you have two conflicting inputs that you have to deal with. You have text coming into your eyes and words coming into your ears. No matter what content anyone puts up, there will always be someone to criticize. Yeah, and, I mean, that's basically my philosophy. I'll never be able to make everyone happy. He, he shouldn't have preferenced it with YouTube commentator. BRB cereal time. I wish I had some cereal. Actually, I have some cereal, but I don't have any milk. Because I forgot to get milk at the store. Twice in a row. Last few times I went to the store, I forgot to get milk. You know, I didn't even notice if I had enough money to buy the ladder in the last item shop or not. I don't think I did, but I have 20 now. And that wasn't that long ago. There's nothing but crap in this one. Oh well, I'll save my money. Eventually I'll get something good. What is this card? Oh yeah. Temperance. It makes the blood donation booth. You would think by now I would know what all the cars do, considering I have 40-ish hours pumped into this game. I would try to get the uh, the blood bag from the donation booth, but once again I'm so low on health in th this early in the game that it's too much of a risk. Even better philosophy. No one has ever done anything decent without being criticized. Well, yeah, that's true. Welcome to the chat room, Vid Vidorin? Veteran? Use the donation booth after you clear the level. Yeah, I might if I have enough, uh, enough hearts at that point. Hmm, I only have one bomb, which means there's no way I can get to those. Because I need one bomb to make a bridge, and then another bomb to break the bricks. Unfortunately. Then just scoop up all the hearts lying around. Yeah. Oh, thanks, veteran. That's, that's, that's flattering. I always appreciate a kind word or two. You know, I went off on that big rant on that guy when, you know, there's no chance to actually watch this. He's one of those weird people who just watches one video from someone and feels the need to post a comment. And really, I don't even think he got, like, the gist of what I was trying to do either. I mean, he called me, he called what I was doing a review. You know, it's pretty clearly not a review. And again, you know, if it was a review, then yeah, that would be weird if I was reading on the dialogue, but I don't know. Hey, Angry Video Game Nerd. I watched your documentary about Zelda 2. Yeah, you got a lot of facts wrong in it. You should really fact check before you make a documentary like that. 
Uh, dumb people. Yeah, 20 some odd episodes is quite a review. Yeah. Uh, 20 episode long, you know, 5 hours or so total length review. It's the most in depth review ever. Welcome to the chat, Bob Man. Or B0B4M4N. Bob Man Elite Speak. Nice to finally have some some more health, but I don't really like the heart. Something about the way it just dangles there really grosses me out. Plus, it kind of looks like you have testicles dangling from your chin, which isn't a good look on anyone. Gross red pulsating testicles. Welcome to the chat, Kermudian. What about chickens? I don't know. What about them? Welcome to the chat, McGack2. Wow, a lot of people in the chat tonight. I feel like the most popular boy of the dance. I'm the bell of the ball. Okay, maggots! This car that I'm holding, by the way, the sun, it's uh, it's pretty good. It does all kinds of crazy crap. I think it, like, it does a ton of damage to everything on the screen, and if I remember correctly, it also shows a map, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe some other stuff. I think I might be confusing the sun with the world. Man, you give me two easy waves, and then a bunch of these fucking guys. I'm using this stuff. The, uh, the pad, by the way, in case you didn't notice, makes people retreat. The sun deals da- oh yeah, it deals damage and heals you. I just realized I've been missing some of your uploads for some reason. Yeah, YouTube has always been really finicky about about showing all all uploads on your subscription page. Uh, I would highly recommend either subscribing on uh, on Twitch, and there's an option to uh, to like get an email every time someone you're subscribed to starts streaming, uh, or you can follow my streaming LP account on Twitter at Duke LPs, and every time I start a stream or post a video, I, uh, I put an update there. I, w I wouldn't rely on YouTube. I mean, I do post a, a thing on YouTube every time I stream just, you know, to get those people, but, uh, use a blood machine after beating the boss. Yeah, that's prob probably a, uh, a wiser idea. I saw all these hearts scattered around, and I decided to, uh, to have a go at it. Luckily, I don't think the blood machine resets after you after you leave the room. Um, or actually, it might. I'm not sure. The arenas are all fixed in each floor. Huh. Well, I've never been the most observant person ever, so I'm not really the best at catching those kind of kind of patterns. Ooh, a horseman. Don't think I fought one of these guys on stream yet. Pestilence is probably my least favorite of the horsemen. Well, I don't know. Death is pretty bad. If I uh if I get too bad, I will use my sun card on this guy. Hopefully, I... Uh, oh yeah, I did I did be a horseman at least once on a stream, because I got the cube of meat once. Hopefully I get the pony instead of the cube of meat. Because the pony's pretty badass. Not very likely. I've only gotten the pony once. Yeah. Just a cube of meat. Arenas are not 100% fixed. I've never caught a live stream before from you, used to watch your videos, still stayed subbed. Oh, well thanks for making it. 
Uh, pony. Oh, you only get the pony from the headless horseman. That sucks. Yeah, the uh, the subscription page is set to highlights by default, which is really annoying. Duke, get those bombs in the previous room. Oh yeah, I have enough bombs to do that now. And I will give this blood donation machine one more go. That's not the right way. Alright. Does the blood donation machine reset after you leave the room? Because if so, I'm kind of wasting my time here. Make sure to blow it up once you're done. Yeah. Might get something worthwhile from that. What do you mean reset? Well, do, does the blood I've donated so far like count towards the total? Only if you don't get the blood bag. Right, but like... Is it even because it's like it's a fixed amount? It's just a random, a random amount every time. Or that's how I understood it anyway. All right. Uh, I will use the sun card. Oh fuck! Uh. Uh, my brain's all all out of sorts today. I meant to use the sun card and keep uh keep giving blood, but uh, I think even people on the wiki can't agree on how the blood donation machine works. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff about this game is still kind of arcane. Oh well, I'm done here. I wish I, I wish there was actually something good in that item shop because I have a shitload of money. That's weird. Music didn't change. The game maker is deliberately quiet about how it works. Which I think is great. I mean, that's the whole, you know, appeal of this game. Is figuring stuff out for yourself and, uh... And, you know, discovering things. I mean, me, I've tried to avoid the wiki as much as possible. It's kind of like, uh... That Dark Souls game where the game is like a challenge, it's kind of a challenge against everyone. Like, everyone, oh god. Like, everyone collaborating on the internet, trying to, uh, trying to solve the mysteries, and, uh, figure out the best strategies. And come to think of it, that's kind of how it is for Fez, too. The whole thing is like one puzzle that everybody's, you know, collaborating to solve. Which is an awesome idea. I'm just really not good at puzzles. Well, I, I guess it depends on the kind of puzzle. I like old school adventure games like, uh, like the Discworld games and stuff. Those kinds of point and click adventures. But man, I would rather put my head in the oven than try to play Myst again. Because I tried to play Myst once, like, years ago. And, uh, man, that is one game that doesn't mess around when it comes to the puzzles. I love talking with people when playing Dark Souls, sharing strategies. Yeah, that's one game I'd like to, to give a try. I hear it's coming to PC, but there's been a lot of people talking a lot of yang about it on the internet because it uses games for Windows Live. Sweet! Void Rage! Speed and range up. And yeah, games for Windows Live sucks, but it's not going to prevent me from playing a game that I want to play, unlike Origin. Dang. Pretty good stats. Welcome to the chat room, Psychic Psych. You like the Walking Dead game done by Tell Telltale? Yeah, I like uh, I like Tell Telltale. The only games I played by them are the uh, the Homestar Runner adventure games, which are awesome. But yeah, 
Telltale's pretty good people. Although I heard the the Back to the Future game kind of left a lot to be desired. But you know, they can't all be zingers. Hmm, which way? Steam's and good old games are on top as digi digital distribution platforms. Yeah, I agree. Everything should be on Steam. But, I mean, from a consumer standpoint... Oh, shit. From a consumer standpoint, it is good to have competitors, even though I like Valve and, you know, I trust them. You know, they, you don't want them to, uh, to have a total monopoly on digi digital distribution because... You know, if they go public, or something, god forbid, then, you know, they'll have an obligation to the stockholders to, uh, to increase profits in any way possible, and they might, like, start imposing draconian DRM schemes or, you know, other nasty things. Desura is pretty good fun, too. Haven't heard of that one. Ooh, damn. Oh! Oh, I got hit by a nasty version, and I only had one heart left. <sighs> Stockholders are our number twelve yet. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the uh, kind of the point I was making. I mean they don't have stockholders now, but you know down the line, you know who knows. So it, it's always good to have competition in the market, even when. Even, I mean, at the beginning, Google, you know, their motto was don't do evil, but it could be argued that they've done a few evil things. Should have saved that stone card. Yeah, I know. I am going to get a drink, so I will be right back. Refreshy. Guppy now has some new toys. And Guppy has plenty of toys by this point. Let me see my stats. 87 deaths, 6 bomb kills, 110 items. Yeah, I would say that cat has plenty to play with at this point. Alright, well, time to get back on the horse. So how are you guys tonight? I've talked about myself entirely too much tonight. Let's talk about you, chatroom. Tell me about your dreams and desires. And wishes. And nightmares. Does anyone have any amusing anecdotes from work? I don't. Because literally all I do at work is sit in a chair and type numbers into a computer all day. Sometimes letters. You know, when I do get letters, it's kind of a, uh, a red letter day. But numbers for the most part. I don't really talk to anyone at work. Mostly, well, yeah, mostly because I work in a room filled with middle-aged women. Who I don't really have much in, in common with. Aw oh, man. I like having a lot of bombs, but I would much rather have a more permanent upgrade. Just killed myself in the gym. Oh, congratulations. Now you can get that new body you've been 
one him all this time. That's how gyms work, right? You work out until you until you kill yourself, and then they have to put your brain in a robot body. My name is Chrono, and I run an old school game review website. Is that your career? Like, do you make money from that, or is that just your hobby? Because if it's your career, you should give me a job, because I write about old video games for free all the time. You should see my, uh, my screed I wrote about Sonic CD not too long back. It's quite an interesting read. Back. What items, if any, did he get? I got the death item. I'm a student. I mean, I'm not a student. Someone in the chat room is a student. Which, if you're watching on YouTube, you can tell because you hopefully have the subtitles turned on and you can watch around, watch along with the chat. Thanks again, Exergia. You know, I really think that's a feature that a lot of uh, game streamers would be interested in. It's pretty cool. And not just game streamers, like anyone who does a live show with chatters. Because I've been wanting to, uh, to incorporate the chat into my videos for a long time. Like, at first I had the idea of just recording the, str the chat room in a separate, uh, a separate recording session, but then I'd have to, like, do it... I mean, I could do it as one video, but, like, the, uh... It would, I mean, I'd have to, like, do some jiggering with the resolution, and... It wouldn't really be ideal, but, uh... I think your script pretty much does the trick. Reminds me of the old days on MTV, like when the internet was first starting to be a thing. Like, was it Total Request Live, I think, that did it? Like, during the music videos, they would have a little scrolly marquee down at the bottom of the screen with, you know, people chatting about the music video. And giving shout outs to their stupid friends. I'm also a student. Sonic CD is a good game. It's a hobby. I'm a student. I'm a pr professional fapper. I've been watching an uninvited LP for lols. That game is awesome. Never heard of it. My dream right now is to sleep with 40 sexy women at once. Why 40? I mean, don't you think that more than 3 or 4 would just be overkill? I mean, what are you going to pass three or four? What are the rest of them going to do? Just stand there and be sexy while you sleep with the three or four of them? Welcome to the chat room, Pinful Dwarf. Man, a lot of people on now that I'm streaming later. Like, is this a better time for any of you than than 7 p.m.? Like, do I have a lot of West Coast time zone people? Or something. Well, you're all students, so I imagine you all stay up until like four or five in the morning anyway. So this is probably nothing for you. 2:40 a.m. in Scotland. Not really. I'm a Westie. I've noticed that most people in this hobby tend to be West Coasters. I think a lot of people from California who do this. Most of the East Coasters tend to be from uh, Maryland or Florida. I think I saw someone from Virginia once, but I forget who. I always feel left out because people on the West Coast start the shit way too late for me. Because I work at a job where I have to be up at 5 in the morning and... If I stay up too late past my bedtime, I will end up nodding off repeatedly in my chair at work. It's 6.41 here. 3.40 a.m. here. Where am I from? I am from the great state of West Virginia. Charleston, West Virginia, to be specific. It's not great, but, uh, but it's where I've always lived and probably where I always will live. 
because I don't have any marketable skills that would allow me to move to a different area to sell my expertise, and I don't have any money. I, mean, I do want to travel some. I mean, I have enough money to travel like within the country, just not enough money to, to move anywhere. Duke lives in Baltimore or something. Man, I am really glad I don't live in Baltimore. Have you guys ever seen The Wire? Shit's freaking crazy, man. It's like Crime City, USA. I mean, it sounds like such an innocuous town. It sounds like a, uh... I mean, you know, Monopoly, Baltimore Avenue. It sounds like a ritzy kind of... I mean, Baltimore Avenue was, you know, the projects of Monopoly, but still, everything in Monopoly was nicer than nicer than Baltimore in real life. From what I've seen on TV, which I know might not be entirely accurate. The moon teleports you to the secret room, I think. But I might not need to uh, to use it, because I think I have a pretty good idea of where it might be. The lovers just spawns two hearts, which I don't need at the moment. Come to Philly. Eh. I haven't really been many places. Like, I've been out of state just a few times in my life. Uh, I've been to New York City. I've been to New Orleans. I went to Florida a couple times. Florida sucks. I mean, I don't have a problem with Philly. I just... I don't have any particular reason to go there. I mean, I hear they have good, uh, good sandwiches, I guess. I just walked by it again. Walked by what? The secret room? It's probably here. Or... That sucks. Or if it's not here, it's probably over here. Pentagram of fires you're putting out. Someone made up a fact that something happens if you use the Book of Belial near it in the comments. Oh, I don't have that, so... Oh, I missed an X block. Okay, I will, uh... I will... Oh, there it is. Nice! Better than the kind of stuff you usually see in gold chests. Hmm. I should probably go see what's in the item shop. But I'm not sure if I want to use my last key or not. The moon teleports you to, see, to the secret room. Yeah, I, I believe so. Let's test it. Yep, it does. But now that I know the trick... I can typically find the secret room on my own every so often. A nickel! Philadelphia cream cheese is from New York. Yeah, and did you know that haagen ice cream is actually from, like, Michigan or something? And haagen doesn't mean anything? They just made up a name that they wanted... Ooh, I want the battery. That will come in handy later. They just made up a name that, uh... That sounds for in an exotic, but no, it's just a couple of slobs from Michigan. I shouldn't say that. I don't know for a fact that they're slobs, but I can assume. Nice loot in the secret room. Yeah, I mean it's still just money. I'd much rather find like, like I I, I used to find one up mushrooms all the time. Well, not all the time, but uh. I've gotten that a couple times, which are nice. They save you if you die. And I've got I've gotten um, the power up mushroom and I think the odd mushroom. A lot of mushrooms in the secret room. Wonder if I should use this book or not. Basically, it just spawns a bunch of bombs randomly around the room. The same thing that. Uh, that 
Pride does. I mean, that version of Gemini really wasn't much harder than uh, than the original. Ooh, dog food. It's time to eat my own dog food. All right, Satan, what do you have? See, two hearts are just way too much. I should look up about this game. Looks fun and heard a lot about it. It's pretty creepy. I've gotta say. I've gotta say. Yeah, uh, get it on Steam, man. It's like five dollars. And I put I put more hours into this game than I have any game I've played in the, in the past two years instead of Skyrim. And I would actually say I've enjoyed it more than Skyrim. Pack gets you more mileage out of the two items. What's the difference between the mark and the contract? See, I don't know, because I've never, I've never gotten any of this stuff. The only thing I've gotten from the... Uh, I've, uh, I've sold my soul for is the Ouija board. Or Ouija. I have, I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that word. I always heard it pronoun pronounced Ouija. But, uh... You can actually get the Ouija board in, uh... in item shops and stuff, so I was able to find out what it does without selling my soul for it. Once I found out what it does, I'm like, oh, okay. If I have enough health, that's worth getting rid of a heart for. I played Skyrim until I bought my house. Haven't played it since. LOL. Holy crap, you bought a house? For some reason, Oxbow, I mean, no offense or anything, I always thought you were young. Fairly young. I didn't know you were old enough to buy a house. I mean, not that you sound young or anything, it's just... You know how you form an impression of people based on your limited interactions with them? Also known as stereotyping. I think I will use my anarchist cookbook. Well, that worked out okay. Wow, you're 31? I am surprised. I imagine you're probably one of the only people in the chat room older than me. Not that I'm old, but... This tends to attract a, a young demographic, in my experience. I think it's Weeya? Yeah, that makes sense, because... It, how old are you, Just Drop? Because the word is made from the French and German words for yes. We, and then the German word is, yeah, well, I'm not sure if it's ya or ja. 28? Yeah, you are older than me. Wait, you don't know. Don't know what? pronounce ya. Yeah. Okay. I apologize to to German people. I wish I would find a better item to use this battery with. Because my anarchist cookbook for charge pretty quickly, but uh, it's not a particularly good item in and of itself. I act five, so it's okay. Actually, I don't know. We haven't really talked that much. I mean, you've posted like twice on Twitter. Just drop, so I don't really have a lot to go to go by. I just assume everybody's fourteen until I learn otherwise. And I apologize for jumping to conclusions. Oxbow and Just Drop. I've had people think I'm 30 to 40 due to my accent and I'm 21. See, with me, it's the opposite. People think I'm much younger than I actually am because of my voice. I like... I have a, uh... Or I had some kind of... Sinus problem or something when I was younger. Not sinus. Adnoids, I think is the word. I had some kind of issue, and my voice never really developed properly, I don't think. 
So I, I, I mean, I sound like a teenager, so I, I really shouldn't judge people who act or sound young. Ooh, Charm of the Vampire kills heal. I wear tight, trendy pants so people think I'm 14. It's a Scottish accent, hard for people outside the UK to guess. Yes, I mean, Scottish people do tend to sound gruff and grizzled compared to, uh, to other UK accents. I would attempt my impersonation of a Scottish accent now, but I have Scottish people in the chat room, and I really don't want to cause an international incident. If I started trying out my UK accents, the Queen herself would have to intervene and get me shut down just because of how much of a vile insult it is to the people of the United Kingdom. <laughs> Grodnod says, go for it, I would love to see that. No, it's okay. I'll, uh... Maybe... Maybe if I'm drunker. Hmm. The PhD gives you better pills, but I haven't determined if that's just the ability that Kane naturally has or not. I'm pretty sure it is. So, buying that would be kind of useless. Now I wish I had some rum. Speaking of uh, Scottish accents, I've been drinking some Irish whiskey. You know, Scottish and Irish are almost the same thing, basically. Sorry, that that's probably more of a more of an international incident than attempting my Scottish accent would be. Lucky Foot has this ability naturally. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I figured. You call it whiskey and not scotch. Yeah, no, it's uh it's not scotch, it's just straight up plain old Irish whiskey. However, I did spell it W H I S K E Y, which I know you can't see, or you know, you, you can't tell because I'm speaking and not typing. But that's uh, that that's a no no technically. It's just how I'm used to it because that's how we spell it here in Yanklin. I mean, the word just looks wrong when you spell it W H I S K Y. I mean, it reminds me of the word monkey with the uh, K-E-Y at the end, if you just spelled it M-O-N-K-Y, that just wouldn't look right. Anarchy in the UK, bitch! I don't really like the Anarchist Cookbook, but I've gotten pretty lucky with it so far. Sweet! I killed that pustule and I got some health back. Even though I think I was at max anyway. Ooh, look at me, I'm fancy. Welcome to the chat room, Private Steve and Pokesmot420. Interesting tip for this boss, when it charges at you, you can drop a bomb and it will swallow it and explode. No, oh, that is an interesting tip. Too bad I didn't see it before I fought the boss. What is the hardest boss to me? Uh... Gertie is my most hated boss in this game. Well, besides, like, Mom. Well, Mom... Well, yeah, Mom herself. Gertie is the worm boss is the easiest. Yeah, I agree. Chubb is pretty easy. Welcome to the chat room, Roy Symphonia. Did I fight Krampus yet? I haven't fought him in this game, but I have fought him before. Um, a couple times. All right. Anything else on this floor? No, I think I'm done. Headless Horseman or Death are hard. I'd say harder than Krampus. Yeah, Death is my least favorite of the Headless Horsemen. Or my least favorite of the Horsemen. The Headless Horseman himself isn't that hard to deal with. Gertie is one of the easiest for me to beat. Yeah, for me, sometimes I can get him in, uh, in a pattern where I can beat him fairly easily. But sometimes, like, I don't know, I just can't deal with him. Especially, like, the evolved version of him, the harder version. Like, those constantly respawning 
pustules are just hell to deal with. Welcome to the chat room, BakerBot. The Fallen splits into two Krampuses. Unless I got that backwards. Satan is not hard either, considering he's the final boss. I've only gotten to fight Satan once, and I was not able to beat him. Unfortunately. I might have better luck if I encounter him again, now that I fought him once. But I mean, it's so... It's so uncommon that Satan actually pops up that, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> See, with all the other bosses, you fight them fairly frequently, so you get to form strategies and stuff against them. But with Satan, just not, uh, you don't have a lot of chance to practice. Only beat Mom once, don't feel bad. You can stay out of range of Gertie respawning boils. Tip for Satan, drop bombs when he tries to stomp you. Hmm. I might not have had bombs at that point in the game. I forget. <sighs> I'm tired. I can probably keep it going for another hour. At least, though. Oh, I don't have any keys. Excellent. I mean... Boo! I hate these guys. At least I have a nice hiding spot. I feel like I'm playing Gears of War with all this stop and pop. Or Mass Effect. The cool thing about The Binding of Isaac is that it reminds me of a lot of games. But it's not really that similar to any of them. Like, obviously, it reminds you of Zelda because of the way the, uh, the dungeons are laid out. And it reminds you of uh, of Gears of War, the way you have to do the stop and pop. Cue tangent about Mass Effect 3 ending, since Matt mentioned Mass Effect. No, because I haven't played Mass Effect 3 yet. If any of you talk about it, you're banned from the stream. Even though I have been thoroughly spoiled on it by this point. I'm just sick of hearing about it, really. I mean, the ending sounds pretty bad. I'll probably play the game eventually, once it's on Steam, and not Origin, because I really don't want to download or Origin. I'll buy it when it's like 20 bucks or so. Not as much as Wizard reminds me of Zelda. Really? The only thing about Wizard that reminds me of Zelda is the music. Blow up the slot machine, might get a key. Yeah, I'll wait and see if there's anything worth buying on this floor, and then I'll try pumping some coins into it to see if I get anything. Then I'll blow it up. Spoiler, Shepard is the protagonist. I don't know what a protagonist is, but, uh... Sounds better than the ending that I heard. If you use the Bible, it kills Satan instantly. Well, that's interesting. You have two half hearts chilling around on the floor, so you can sell at least one full heart to the blood machine. Yeah, I, I can, but I'm going to take other people's advice and wait until I kill the boss before I try the blood machine. Just so I have a, uh, a better chance of actually getting the blood bag. Well, not a better chance, but uh, it, it'll be easier for me to recover from not having much health. He's lying about the Bible plus Satan equals death. The Bible kills mom instantly. See, I don't know who to believe. God damn, I need like four keys on this level. I have two... I have like two chests I need to open. I have the item room. I guess I will have to... bomb the blood machine. Or the slot machine. Duke, I misread what I wrote. If you use the Bible on Satan, you're dead. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up before... before I actually try that. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it! I did not mean to pick up those pills after I laid the bomb. I'm just gonna friggin' use this. I'm never gonna actually... use the bad gas on purpose. Need a keys or bombs pill. Yeah? That'd be helpful. 
<sighs> Alright, here's what, I'd, what I'll do. I will go on ahead and try to find the boss. Or fight the boss. And then when I'm done, I will try to make the most of that blood machine. Because I have the lovers, too, which spawns two hearts. And there are plenty of hearts laying around on the floor. And I might get hearts when I blow stuff up. Use the bag gas in an elevator when others are around. I don't think I would stand to gain anything from that strategy. I think you need to recheck your game facts on that one. Did anyone else here used to call it Game FAQs? I did. Because when I first heard about Game Facts, it was actually, uh, it was years ago. It was Moore's Draconis who told me about it. And he told me to go to GameFacts.com. And I thought he was saying GameFacts.com. Game F-A-C-T-S. And that was back in the days before they actually registered that domain. So there was nothing there. And I was like, I tried to go to Game Facts, but there's nothing there. And he said, no, Game FAQs. And I just thought he was crazy for pronouncing FAQs as facts. I thought, man, that's really confusing if you hear it in conversation. But I've taken to calling it Game Facts recently. Well, not recently, but since then. Now that they actually have GameFacts.com registered, uh, it's not really that big of a deal. Welcome to the chat room, Rob. Haven't seen you in a while. Well, I, I've seen you in in the Skype, but not around here. I used to use the forums there. Were you a loser? I bet you were a loser. My cousin laughed when I said facts. Yeah, it's pretty laughable, really. One more meat cube and you get meat boy. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's give it a shot. Now, if I remember correctly, I can go on ahead and use it, and it will take my soul heart. Is that correct? Me boy requires four cubes. Well, that sucks. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I won't do that. Ooh. A shiny nickel. Yes! Awesome. Okay. Now I just need to go blow up that slot machine and see if I can get any keys. Hopefully I get about four of them. You lucky guy. Yep. Well, you know, I am Kane, Mr. Luck himself. Or I could play the slots. Hmm, I have 27 coins. Most you probably get from the slots is two. You could just use the slot machine normally. You could actually gamble. Did he eat the blood bag? Yep. He's pretty hardcore that way. Nice. Aw. I was hoping it was a, uh, a friendly fly. Well, now that I have one key, I will go on ahead and get the, uh, well, I was going to go to the, st the store to see if I can gamble more, or see if I should gamble more, or if there's something worth buying, but I should actually get at least one more key so I can get the item room. Go until you have 15 coins left. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. Alright, now I will check out the item store and see see what's for sale. But first I will get my item. Aw oh, man, it's just a doctor's remote. I think it's not that good. What do you say guys? Anarchist cookbook or doctor's remote? I'm thinking cookbook. One vote for book, one vote for remote, another vote for book, use the remote on a wall, you can name the blast, 
Cookbook is easier to use. Roy Symphonia doesn't have the slightest. Yeah, I know the, you can aim with the remote, but... Well, I guess it, yeah, it might be useful for blowing up walls. Oh, speaking of which, I should go get the secret room before I... Well, okay, since I'm here, I will go ahead and see if there's anything worth buying. Ah! Ah, oh, man. It's bogus. He bombs. Fucker. That's what you get for not being a dude who sells me items. Alright. I, well, now I guess I might as well freaking gamble the rest of this money away. Always greed, yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles. God damn, look at all this money. I'm a rich boy. Nice loot, yeah. Pretty good. Anarchist cookbook is very random. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm not I'm not really that fond of it. The blast does miserable damage. Yeah, really the only reason to use a doctor's remote is it's it's kinda like uh the reusable bomb that you can use to uh to bomb for the secret room. So much money. I need money equals power now. Is that a is that a power up? Because I actually have not I have not gotten that before. Does it turn all your coins into like damage? Like stat increases? Because that would be pretty badass. Sanya Chan says yes. Duke, have you looked into D and D fifth edition at all? Nope. I'm not interested. I already have all this time and energy invested into uh, into 4e. I don't really see. Well, I mean, I'll be open-minded once it actually comes out. Like, if D&D Fifth Edition comes out and everybody says it's amazing, then I might make the switch. But uh, I have a feeling it won't be amazing. 4E is pretty much exactly what I need for my D&D fix. Yeah, me too. I, I like 4th edition a lot. The combat is streamlined and fun. It's like playing a, uh, a tactical RPG, like a real one, on the computer. And still plenty of opportunities for role play. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and play the slots all day like some Boca Raton grandma with nothing better to spend her son's inheritance money on. Ooh. Ah. Just Bomaria. I play chess. I used to play chess. But my brain, it don't work so good no more. Nah, I could probably play some chess. I was just never really any good at it. Uh... Damn, I should have tried to get more keys so I could get those two chests in the score. Oh well. Oxbow used to play 3rd edition. Can't believe that makes him seem old. See, I played 2nd edition, but I just skipped entirely over 3rd edition in 3.5. Nice McGack. Alright. I think it's time to uh to mosey on. I've spent entirely too much time on that floor. And now is when it starts to get difficult. I I have not yet made it past the depths since the game has increased in difficulty. In fact, I haven't made it past the depths of one, I don't think. I haven't even made it to the depths two. I have a hard time saying depths. Depths. I have a 1E player's guide. Wow. That's probably worth some money. If it's in good condition. Oh. 
<sighs> I do have a lot nicer items and power-ups than I had the last time I made it here, though. So, hopefully, I'll have better luck this time. Because I have the highest speed, almost the highest damage. I have uh, a Meat Boy head floating around me for extra projectiles. I have four hearts, which still isn't that great, but better than I had the last time, I believe. It sucks that the only activated I item I've gotten is the Anarchist Cookbook. Well, that's the best activated I item I've gotten so far. I use the word tits instead of the word awesome. It is definitely a tittier word. Yeah, but... You can't get used to to saying that because you might find yourself slipping up and accidentally saying tits in front of your grandma. And then your grandma would be so shocked that you said such a horrible word that she'd have a heart attack. And then her blood would be on your hands, Pimpledorf. Do you really want that to happen? Do you really want poor old grandma to keel over? If I said tits in front of my grandma, she'd think it was hilarious. Use the cookbook. Yeah, I should have used the cookbook there. But oh well. The only things in the chat I actually pay attention to are things that don't actually help me in the game. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. You guys have helped me. You've uh, you showed me, you know, the consistent pattern of how the secret rooms show up, which I didn't know before. See you later, Gartholomew. Thanks for coming. Hope you come back next time for more Binding of Isaac action. Tune in next time for Duke of the Bumps video game related bi weekly entertainment program. Coming to you live on Public Access TV. Speaking of Garth, they're making a Wings World 3. I haven't seen the first two. There's a pattern. Yeah, the uh, the secret room is always bordered by three other rooms, which I didn't know before. I, I knew that was uh, that was common. Like I knew it was a frequent thing. At least three secret rooms. Yeah, but I didn't know it was literally every time. But now I do. Ooh. Well, I have a key. But I should probably save it, because what's in the item room is bound to be better than what's in the chest. Sloth! You know, of all the seven deadly sins, Sloth is the one I most identify with. I'm pretty lazy. I guess Gluttony is pretty high up there, too. It's like one of those old live journal memes. If you were one of the seven deadly sins, which one would you be? Take this quiz on Quizzilla to find out. I made a live journal quiz once. The quiz was, do you have diabetes? And it consisted of a single question. It said, do you have diabetes? Yes or no? If so, then you have diabetes. Welcome to the chat room, Paradox Zero. I think Duke is getting better at play. Well, I'm pretty good, Kos. I mean, I've beaten the game six times already. I just haven't really been that good in the recent streams because I was rusty. I'm not a fan of using the name of the sin to simplify the sin. There are actually canonical demons associated with each of them. Did I use the Justice card? No. Um, oh yeah, I should probably use that. That's the one that spawns one of each thing. Except that instead of, instead of a real bomb, it spawned a troll bomb. For some reason I thought Justice was one of the, uh, one of the hurt everybody on the screen things. Ah oh, man. What a ripoff. Gluttony is Leviathan. Oh, makes sense. I mean, Leviathan is the biggest creature 
ever to have existed. Pride is Lucifer, Wrath is Satan, Green is Beelzebub. No, oh, I never knew that. Maybe Mammon is Green. That would make sense, because uh, in Chrono Trigger, the machine that extracted the energy of Lavos from the Earth was called the Mammon Machine. So it's like they were greedy for for power. I should probably watch that movie seven. I heard it was pretty good. And I like everything else David Fincher's ever done. That is David Fincher I'm thinking of, right? I heard the movie was was pretty awesome. Boom fly. Beelzebub is sloth. See, I always thought Beelzebub was just another word for Satan. I didn't know he was his own entity. 21 Jump Street was awesome. Yeah, that's what I've heard, but I don't know how ready I am to believe it at this point in my life. Because judging by the previews and the fact that it's like a crazy, goofy comedy based on, like, an old teen, uh, soap opera, basically. Uh, I'm, I'm skeptical. Well, it's kind of complicated. I assume you mean the whole satan Beelzebub relationship. See, I thought Lucifer and Satan were the same people, too. Or Lucifer was just another name for Satan. Kind of like how, uh, Zeus and Jupiter are the same. Just Zeus is the, the Greek name and Jupiter is the Roman name. I, th I thought it was something like that. But then again, I'm not really... I'm not really up on my, uh... on my Christian mythology. Or my Greek or Roman mythology, for that matter. Damn it! Whoever said I'm getting better at the game, you freaking jinxed me. I demand a written apology on my desk by Monday. Signed by two witnesses. Notarized. Oh, wow. Piffledorf wrote me on a chart. Lucifer, Satan, Pride. Mammon, Greed. Asmodeus, Lust. Leviathan, Envy. Beelzebub, Gluttony. Ammon, or Behemoth, Wrath. Belphegor. Belphegor Sloth. I haven't heard of several of those. <sighs> oh yeah. I poured myself a drink. And promptly forgot about it. I didn't write that. I, I just yanked it from Wiki. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm much less impressed. Whenever someone's praising you for something you didn't do, you shouldn't correct them. Because that's how you get ahead in the world of business. Alright, I want to go collect some of those hearts lying around before I, uh, before I go any further. Man, people in my chat room are so freaking smart. I was just kidding, Pinful Dwarf, about the uh, respecting you less thing. I mean, the fact that you are versed in all this... You know, it's more impressive than than my knowledge on the subject. Damn, where's the item room? I have four keys. Uh, that looks like a secret room. Nope. Well, I tried. This looks like it might also be a secret room. Prepare to be impressed again. I know what hypogammaglobulinemia is. Me too. It's a word that you just made up, because that word does not actually exist. Nice try. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Ooh, I don't like these guys at all. Oh, I do not like you headless people. Well, not headless people, but... Head head on a, uh, on a tether, people. Alright. 
What you got for me? Growth hormones again. I am not going to complain. Most of the different names for the devil are actually different entities that got declared the same. Anemia makes it sound like a lack of something or sick, if I'm wrong. The suffix mia means affliction of, for lack of a better translation. Damn. I'm lucky I have such a uh, such an intelligent fan base. Because some streams, I won't name any names, tend to attract the uh, the dregs of humanity. Let me say. Let's spend some of the Skrilla. Oh man. <sighs> I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Okay. I'm going to uh I'm going to show off my ignorance here. I actually I'm not hundred percent sure what the book of Revelation does. I apologize. Sifter 1, I'm not intelligent, sorry. Well, you haven't said anything in the chat room to make me think that you're not intelligent, so you're already a step above most people. Give the soul hearts. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll go on ahead and use, use that one. Excuse me. Uh, let's see, where have I not checked for secret rooms? That looks like a possibility. Hmm. Well, I have one more level before there aren't going to be any more item shops. So I should hold on to at least 15 coins. But the rest of them, I guess I can go ahead and pump in here. The challenge room opened up. Yeah, I'll go back for it. It's a soul heart version of the um heart. It's pretty excellent. Actually, you know what? That is not entertaining podcasting. Because this is a podcast. It's better to remain silent and be thought an idiot than open your mouth and erase all doubt. I believe Kanye West said that one. Yes, Kanye West is certainly the, uh, the Shakespeare of our time. You know what else Kanye West said? He said... I actually don't know anything else Kanye West said. Oh, I know. He said George Bush doesn't care about black people. And he said, I'm gonna let you finish, but some person is the best something of all time. Those are the things Kanye West will be known for throughout history. Damn it, I don't like these guys either. Damn it. Oh my god. Wow, that is quite the reward. Oh yeah, I got the skeleton key. 99 key. I misattribute quotes on my Twitter to troll the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, I like I like attributing quotes to Oscar Wilde. Because Oscar Wilde is pretty much the source of all quotables. I think Einstein once said, I do value the person's intelligence, but I would still prefer tennis. Nice in this are darkness without the hilarious sound it makes when you hit their shields. I think the knights are more annoying. I don't know why. I, I don't know what that's based on. Damn, I almost recharged my book of revelations again. Already. Because I have a battery. Man, why don't you guys tell me when the mouse cursor is in the window? I'm too preoccupied on talking and trying not to die to notice these kind of things. what chat rooms are there for. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think War did the bomb thing, bef the, the anarchist cookbook thing before. I 
And war is uh, a sweet baby kitten once you take its horse away. It is only three, three meat cubes to get a meat boy. Somebody said it was four. I tried to move it twice already, thinking it was mine now. Oh, don't hesitate to, uh, to put me in my place. Say, Duke, damn it. Move the damn mouse cursor. Hey, you. Get that mouse. That's not a completed meat boy? What's, what's not complete about him? You need four for super meat boy. Oh, okay. All right, well, onward. The completed Meat Boy is the same size as you. Well, I guess I've never gotten Super Meat Boy before, because I'm I'm pretty sure this is the uh, the highest level of Meat Boy I've ever had. Nice. Oh, it's the Newgrounds Meat Boy. See you later, Sifter. Thanks for hanging out. Come back. Follow me on Twitter, Duke of the Bump, or Duke LPs, for LP and stream updates. In fact, everybody follow me on Twitter if you're not already. And uh, follow me on, uh, on Twitch as well. If you don't have a Twitter account, make one so you can follow me. It's 2012. How do you not have a Twitter account? I mean, how else are you going to uh, to see the latest piece of genius from Kanye West? You know, I I I saw that Beck had a Twitter account today, which I thought would be pretty cool since Beck's a pretty cool guy when he's not being a Scientologist. But his Twitter account is just freaking. I mean, it's obviously just his agent or a PR person or something, because it talks about him in, in the third person, and all the posts are uh, are plugs for concerts and stuff, which was pretty disappointing. Then again, if it was actually Beck posting on it, it might just be Scientology stuff. Don't forget to use the book. Oh yeah, welcome to the chat room zero two five two. <laughs> that is pretty funny, Penfoldorf. My favorite Twitter account is well, there's horse ebooks, of course. Which, if you're not following horse ebooks, why are why are you even on Twitter? I ask you. But uh, there's a bot called. Uh, Something Mountain, I forget, but uh, what all the bot does is whenever someone posts the words sneak peek on Twitter, but they spell sneak normally and they spell peek, P-E-A-K, they correct the person who posted it. They say, actually, I think you meant P-E-E-K, which is pretty hilarious. Well, the bot in itself isn't that hilarious, but the really hilarious thing is looking at people's responses to it. Because people will just get enraged at the spot that's correcting their grammar. Open to the chat room, beginner 12. Bye, beginner 12. I was going to say, I hope, uh, I hope you're able to finish what beginners 1 through 11 started. But you left before I could, uh, before I could drop the truth bombs on you. Either that or the Twitch. Justin in the chat room is being stupid again, and you're actually still there, and it's just telling me that you left. Aw. There's a pill that I can't get. Beginner 12 die from dysentery. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty likely. Oh, shit. Here lies Beginner 12. Pepperoni and cheese. So saith the pioneers who came before him. 
You think that pill's just bomb poop? Oh, okay. Oh, no big loss then. Battery plus Book of Revelations equals win. Yeah, I agree. I am definitely glad I uh, I bought that battery when I did. Especially since it only cost me seven cents. It was on sale. Battery is also really good with the Yum Heart. My advice to anyone who's having trouble with this game is unlock uh, Magdalene if you haven't already because she starts with more health and she starts with an item you can use to uh, to recharge a heart or refill a heart and uh, she, she's probably the easiest character to beat the game with but uh, I just prefer Kane for his uh, his lucky abilities in fact the very first time I beat the game it was with Magdalene I forget how you actually actually unlock her though. I think you just have to collect a certain number of hearts through the course of a game. Actually died twice in the same game of Oregon Trail. Once by three broken legs, then I died again of another broken leg. I hope it was the uh, the Apple II version of Oregon Trail. Because, really, there's no other... I mean, that's the canonical Oregon Trail, in my opinion. Anything else with the Oregon Trail name is just a pale imitator. You know, I discovered recently that Mech, the company that made Oregon Trail, made a game for the Apple II where you play a slave in southern USA in the late 1800s, who escaped a plantation and it's like an adventure game where you have to avoid being caught and you have to uh, you know, I mean you have to uh, make your way to the north it's pretty interesting I mean, it's pretty it's pretty ballsy of a game company to, to tackle a subject like that oh shit <laughs> I forgot that the uh, that that trail hurt because it wasn't glowing and radioactive. What's Oregon Trail? I really hope you're joking. Well, I guess it's possible that you're not from the U.S. and you grew up in a country country where you were deprived of Oregon Trail. I mean, basically, Oregon Trail is the first RPG I ever played. It's a computer game for the Apple II, where you play. A, uh, a pioneer uh, taking a wagon across the country from uh, from Virginia to Oregon and you have to deal with all of the uh, the trials and tribulations that they faced back then the diseases and the different hardships that they had to suffer it's a really great game I guess calling it an RPG is kind of a stretch but uh, it's pretty close Independence, Missouri. Oh yeah, I guess you did start in Missouri. I'm from Europe, so no idea. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry you missed out. You should go to uh, virtualapple2.org and, uh, and play it. Actually, I mean, if you didn't play it back then in the olden days, it probably doesn't really hold up today. <laughs> the inability of a hunting party to lift or drag more than 80 pounds. I thought it was 100. See, in the later Oregon Trail games, they increased it to like friggin' 500. I'm like, that's not how it was back then. You couldn't carry more than 100 pounds. That's Balderdash. Uh, let's see. I love killing like 300 pounds of food only to leave 200 or 3,000 pounds of food only to leave 2,800 pounds behind. Yeah. So wasteful. 500. Was the Hulk with you? No, I think you, uh, I think your whole party was able to carry stuff back instead of just one dude. So they were able to carry 100 pounds each. Uh, let's see. 
what have I not tried? That's probably further to the right then. Dragging 500 pounds on a tarp is not that hard. They didn't have tarps back then. The tarp wasn't invented until like 1976. That's crazy talk. Monstro's Tooth. I don't think so. Nice try. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, eh? Ah! Again? You gotta be kidding me. Of course I get greed when I have freaking 46 cents. Ah. Oh, and it gives me a steam sale. Really useful since this is the last item shop in the game. Oh, you bastard. Hope you like the arcade. Yeah, that's where I'll probably end up. Although I don't really know what I can gain by sitting here gambling for an hour. Oh, well, I guess I could get the poop hat. Or maybe a uh, halo of flies or something. <laughs> Greed's trolling. Can I check the walls connecting the boss room? Uh, no. But I haven't been to a room connected to... Well, yeah, I have. Let me, uh, let me do that real quick. Not that, you know, not that there will be anything there for me to spend money on either, but... Might as well. I might get more money that I can gamble away. Ooh, Unicorn Horn. I think I like the Book of Revelations better, though. As good as the Unicorn Horn is. Can I get another blood bag? Can you get multiple blood bags? Actually, I'm not really sure. I've never been able to do it in my experience, but I don't know for a fact that it's not possible. Oh, the cat got three. I guess it is possible. With a lucky foot, you can abuse the gambling machine a lot. Yeah, that's true. Pokemon 420, you can, I'm telling you. I don't know. I'm suspicious. Are you trying to, f to fool me? Because why else would you pose that little anime face? I've played this game a lot. Yeah, but your name is Pokesmot420, which immediately makes you untrustworthy compared to everyone else in the chat room. Now, if your name was Archibald Chestersfield, Chester Chestersonfield, see, then you would have an air of authority. And I might actually believe the things you say. Search my name on Steam. I have all the achievements. Okay, I'll do that later. Maybe. Wow, more useless money. Archibald Winchesterton Fieldville Green Waltson the Fourth. His name was my name too. Whenever we go out, everybody shout. There goes Archibald Winchesterton Fieldville Green Waltson the Fourth. The poop hat makes you immune to flies. Of course, I have a meat boy to assassinate all the flies anyway. I love having my own meat boy. Smitty Werberge, your man Jensen. That's a SpongeBob thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's a show I haven't watched in an appropriate length of time. All of this useful money! Wow, I am so lucky. Ooh! It is possible to get multiple blood bags. Okay, your story checks out, Pokesmot. 
I will never make fun of pot smokers again. I did get lucky. Thank you. I'm sorry, Postmot. I formally apologize. <sighs> oh, I guess it's time to fight Mom. And I will tell you right now, I am not good at fighting Mom. I'm actually better at Mom's heart than I am Mom herself. The SpongeBob SquarePants is even worth watching to any person above the age of four and not baked out of their board. I used to like the old ones, and I wasn't... I mean, there's a lot of adult-oriented humor. I do have a lot of health. That's the one... the one feather in my cap. Oh, crap. The layout of the room is, like, way different. Of course, she's going to immediately smash all the blocks anyway. I also have the vampire thing, which is very useful when you're fighting a mom. Because you can pick off all these little min- Oh shit! You can pick off all these little minions and- And, uh, regenerate health. I keep- I keep trying to attack my meat boy. Apologies for the silence. I'm concentrating. I almost have her. I have my lover's card, which means I can immediately regain my health after this, too. If I survive. Don't jinx it. Okay. Whew. I have a book charge. Yes, I will use my book. Thank you. 12 plus normal hearts is awesome. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that many. Oh yeah, when you beat Mom, you, you can't go back through the level. You have to go forward. It sucks. Which means I can't go back to that other slot machine that I missed. Uh, Alright. Into the abyss. Unless you have a teleport, of course. Yeah, that's true. That's the one thing. Well, one of the few things that teleport is actually good for. Now, the enemies are tougher. Well, there are tougher enemies than you encounter in any of the other levels. There's no item room or item shops in the womb. There are no... Uh, no, there's still secret rooms. But there are fewer chests. After everything is terrible, Mom starts to reach out for you with her hand, so it gets harder. No, she used to do that. I remember her doing that before. Or an extra life and you kill yourself. Yeah, but that's not a good use for an extra life. Unless you're like super low on health after that fight. Then, then I guess it might be worth it. Oops, shit. Larry totally went a way that I didn't expect there. Hi, Monstra. Long time no see. How are the kids? How'd your dentist appointment go? Oh, well, hang in there. I'm sure they'll get that thing sorted out sooner or later. Range up. The meat boy looks retarded when he walks. Oh, I think he's cute. Don't be mean to meat boy. You can get mom to step on her own hand. Oh, I didn't know that. Did I know Rocco's Modern Life is in the Netflix? Yes, I did. That's awesome. I love that show. I keep telling myself I'm going to go back and watch that again. And watch all the old Ren and Stimpy's and all those great old cartoons. But the fact is, there is just so much new TV that I need to get caught up on. That it's really hard to justify going back and re-watching old stuff. There's just so many shows that I want to watch. I want to get caught up on Mad Men, which I almost am. I'm almost done with uh, season four. And then it's just the new season that I need to watch. I want to get caught up on Sherlock. Um, all the old British comedies I've been watching. QI. Um, 
that Mitchell and Webb look, all that stuff. So much, so well, it's, if I haven't seen it, it's new to me. The book, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Rewatching Deep Space Nine. See, uh, I've never watched any of the uh, the Star Trek stuff. That's something else I'd like to go back and watch. Well, actually, I did watch Voyager. Some of it. Which isn't a good way to start watching Star Trek, from what I understand. Oh shit. I don't like these things. Don't like them one bit. Man, that bite of the vampire thing saved my ass on so many occasions. Started rewatching The West Wing. See, that's a show that I'd really like to go back and watch because I love uh, everything Aaron Sorkin has written that I've seen. And. I'd like to go back and watch The West Wing, but it's just so daunting, because there are like 50,000 seasons. Book! Isn't West Wing basically a 90210 with old people in the White House? That's not my understanding of it. I mean, I thought it was a fairly smart political drama. But, I mean, my experience with it is limited. Uh, let's see. My philosophy with the womb is that there's really not much point in exploring that much. Because there's no item shop, there's no item room. I usually just make a beeline for the boss. Uh, I guess I could look for the secret room. I don't remember 90210 tackling modern political issues. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a very good comparison. From from what I know. Be something good. Well, I guess I have something to spend my 99 coins on now. Oh yeah. So, how about that local sports team? They sure are winning about half their games. Another dollar. Great. <sighs> Just my luck. Well, let's see. I did get a fly, though. So, it wasn't a complete waste. <laughs> you jinxed me, McGack. I think I'm going to, um, see, part of me wants to look around and try to get more health, but then part of me thinks if I do explore, I'm only going to lose more health. Oh, I'm conflicted. What do you guys say? Look around for health or go straight to the boss? Chat room? There's sometimes an arcade on Wound 2. I would go for the boss. Says Saiyachan. Boss, boss. I have seven bombs. Use them to escape if I have trouble. Yeah, I never think about that when I'm actually in that position, though. I tend to panic when I'm fighting the boss and lose faculty of all my senses. I do have a chance for it to be Skull X. Yeah, that's true. Nope! It's death. The one horseman I've constantly talked about how much I hate. Oh god. I didn't know we could do that. Well, that's probably a new thing, I would say. Or maybe I just haven't fought death enough to actually see it. I wish I had a death card. I wonder what happens if you use death on death. Be kind of weird. Probably doesn't work. Now just have the horse. Here, horsey, horsey. Sweet! I got a bandage. 
And I have a full-size Meat Boy. Hi, Meat Boy. Meat Boy's really doing a lot of damage. Yeah, he really saves my ass in that fight. Luckily. Meat Boy rocks, yeah. I guess he doesn't shoot once he's at this level. Use book. Thank you. Yeah, he doesn't shoot, he just walks around and fucks people shit up on a personal basis. Alright. I'm ready. He doesn't shoot last level, just noms on him. Aw, me, me boy's so adorable. Hi, Chubb. How you doing? I could try that bomb strategy. But, he's almost dead anyway. Congrats on the Super Meat Boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my first one. Ooh! Something else to spend my multitudes of cash on. And a map. Which is actually pretty good, because I can just go straight to the boss now. The question is, do I want to? Well, I guess I can't go straight to the boss. I'll have to, uh, to go around. Since there's not going to be an exit. Oh, shit. The laser eye. Don't like him. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. I can't go straight to the boss. I forgot. Because I don't have the compass. Ooh. What happens when you dig when you're on the womb, too? Does it take you to Shoal? Welcome to the chat room, Odin337. What happens when you dig on Shoal? Ooh. I don't know. Man. You can't dig on Shoal. I have no idea how that's pronounced. S-H-E-O-L. Shoal. Keep the book. You guys don't think I should dig? I can show off the last area of the game. Dig now, wait until you have enough health for it. Does the, uh, does the hole that you dig stay there? Might as well dig now in case mom doesn't drop a shoal hole. Dig and then pick up the book. Okay. I will, uh... I should probably do it... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. I was going to leave the room and dig a hole there, but I can always just bomb my way back in there later. Can you get back from Mom's room after you beat her? Ooh, that's another good question. You can leave Mom's heart room. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you, chat room. <sighs> now I just gotta pull the shit off. Where would I be if I was Mom's heart? Thanks, Sword Thumb. Thanks for believing in me. Man, it kinda sucks that me boy is not attacking this guy strategically. Use my book. I mean, ideally, you should go after the small ones first, but Meat Boy has his own agenda. He don't play by the rules. Shit! Oh my god, I lost so much health there. I never fight in V as a normal baddie. Oh, I see what you're saying. Not as a uh, not as a mini boss. That's pretty unusual.